Hey everybody and welcome back to Cray County Grilling. I'm Chris and today we are going to turn this pork loin into some Canadian bacon. I know uh, it's not your traditional thing that you use to make bacon, that's normally pork belly, but I've got this pork loin here and I just wanted to try something a little bit different. Uh, first off, I'm going to cut it in half because uh, there's a bit of a, I don't know what happened there. So that's gonna make it uh, a little nicer for us to uh, work with. Let's get it flipped over. And first off, what you wanna do is trim off, you know, a good amount of this fat on the back here. And in this case, I trimmed off uh, all of it. So <laughs> there's that. But for, for Canadian bacon, you want it to be you know, fairly lean anyway. So I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried here. And some of this, you know, fattier portions here aren't, you're not gonna re really be able to do anything with it anyway. So um, we'll just uh, take care of most of this. There, we're gonna leave the fat, you know, on the, on the sides here, but I think that looks good for uh, for there. And then we're just gonna do the same thing over here with this side. And yes, my trimming skills leave a lot to be desired. I am well aware of that, but here we are. All right, so we got our two chunks of pork. And next, we are going to apply a cure to it. And I've got it made up already right here. And so this, I've got one half cup of brown sugar, one half cup of kosher salt, and then also one teaspoon of cure number one prog powder. And what we're going to do is just put about half of it over this side. A little bit more there. And then we'll flip it over. up this little bit that fell here just want to make sure you get it secure on at least a most of it probably all kind of roll the sides in whatever has fallen off. So you can see there's a few spots on this side here that we missed, so we'll get those. And same thing here. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, uh, but uh, we'll be right back, get this a little bit cleaned up, and then uh, get it into a container for the cure. We spread the cure out a little bit more evenly across the entire thing, and we put it into this storage container here. What we're gonna do is put the lid on this and put it into the fridge. The cure is going to take four days, and we're going to flip the pieces over uh, once in the morning and once at night. And then at the end of four days, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Today is the day that we are going to be smoking the pork. I ended up letting it go a little bit longer than I had planned for the cure. It was supposed to be four days, but I ended up going seven just to you know, let it cure a little bit longer. And I think it looked good. 
So our next step is to get it into this water here and we're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes and that's going to help pull out any of the extra salt that was sitting in the meat because of the cure. Otherwise, if you don't do this step, your pork bacon is going to turn out to be way too salty and uh, almost inedible, which is what happened to me the very first time I made bacon. So we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then we will come back. All right, the pork is ready to go. Uh, so the rain kind of interrupted my ability to get the pork out on the Traeger earlier. So I ended up putting it in the fridge for about an hour and a half. And what that does is just kind of firm up the outside here and make it a little bit tacky, which is an optional step when you're making bacon. So I ended up doing it. Now we're just gonna put a little bit of seasoning on there first. So Maritime Madness is hickory rub, just a light coating, nothing too much. to say if you're making bacon and it ain't tacky you're doing it wrong <laughs> there you go if you're making bacon and it ain't tacky you're doing it wrong we need to trademark that <laughs> oh I don't even know what to say to that <laughs> All right, like I said, just a little bit of the seasoning on pieces. So I got the Traeger warming up right now. We're gonna set it to 180, because we just wanna cook it slow, add some smoke to it. All right, there we go. All right, that should be good. Hey, we're just gonna wait for the Traeger to get up to temp and then we will get it out there. The Traeger is up to temp. Like I said, we've got it set to 180. We just want to slow, uh, slow smoke this pork and we're shooting for an internal temperature of 150. I'm just kind of treating it the same as I would if I was making bacon with a pork belly rather than a pork loin and you know, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and get the pork put on. And we'll stick a probe into that one right there. Close her up and we'll keep an eye on it and be back in, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours and see how it's going. We're at the four hour mark now and this is taking longer than I anticipated, but uh, I guess because I've got the Traeger set at 180, that is the reason for that. So I'm not going to turn it up or anything, just gonna leave it. We're just gonna keep going because you want to keep this to a temperature below 200 degrees when you're cooking it. That's kind of the, the important thing. But let's open it up and take a quick look. There, we'll zoom in. Try and get a better look at all this. Oh, and we just hit a smoke cycle, so we're getting smoked out a little bit. But there. And the smoke is playing havoc with the focus right now. Let's see if we can get that a little better. Eh, not really. Anyway, that's where we're sitting right now. I'm gonna close the lid so I don't lose too much heat. And we're just gonna keep going and probably another hour. All right, we have reached 150 degrees internal temperature on these pork loins. And let's open up and take a quick look. Oh, sorry about the focus there. There we go. 
All right, I'm going to pull these off, get them inside. Uh, we're gonna let them sit for a little bit. We are not going to cut into them yet today. Ow! <laughs> I got hit by a tube of wrapping paper. So uh, we'll take them inside and let them cool down for a bit and move on to the next step. Brought the pork inside and we've let it sit for a little bit. And the next step is we're going to wrap it in some saran wrap and then put it in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow is when we will cut into it and give it the final taste and see how it looks. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we have let it sit for a day and now we can finally carve into it and see how it looks. I'm just gonna cut the end off this piece here. Oh, it's solid. That's for sure. Oh, that is a nice color inside there. Here, we're gonna cut a nice slice off right here, just like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I'm gonna cut a chunk off of the end here for just a little taste. That is some really good Canadian bacon. Wow. All right, so there's what it looks like in the middle. There's not a whole lot of fat in there, which is great. A little bit left on the outside but let's just add a little bit more flavor. I think that tastes great, it tastes sweet. Um, not very salty, so doing that 30 minute soak really helped. I know I'm pretty impressed with my first uh, foray into Canadian bacon. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Love seeing comments from my viewers. And if you haven't yet, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that I get notified, so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about my Amazon affiliate links and also my Patreon. We'll see you next time.